Welcome to the SQL Offline Migration and Macros video. In this video, I will show you how to import and migrate from one database to another automatically. Now first, I will manually migrate between Excel worksheets and later record a macro that migrates all Excel files in a folder to SQL Server. So let's begin. In this example, I will copy three Excel County worksheets to a new state worksheet. So here I create florida.xlsx. Now I will select florida.xlsx in the source window and copy the connection string. Right now, the only thing I do with Florida is copy the connection string. Now next I'll select the Duval County worksheet and specify I want headers and then open the FCAT scores sheet which creates a new offline document. Now to migrate, I'll modify the data link to change from the County Duval worksheet to the State Florida worksheet. And in SQL Offline, this is pretty much all there is to migration. Just change the connection string. And finally, write data to update the target. In this case, Duval was the first county, so the new sheet is created and data added. So let's see the results. I'll exit SQL Offline and open the Florida worksheet in Excel. And here we can see the new sheet with data from Duval County. Now, so far in this video, we have migrated data from a county worksheet to a new state worksheet. Now, next, we're going to turn on recording and do things automatically with macros. Creating macros is simple. I just turn on recording in the formula ribbon and from that time forward, everything I do in the offline document is recorded in the command window. Now I've opened the Monroe County worksheet and here again replace the connection string in the data link. Changing from the county again to the state. I'm also going to specify an update key. The first county created the table and just appended everything. But to avoid adding a school twice, I want to specify an update key. Now, if I did just want to keep adding, I could specify to append everything in the advanced dialog box. Now, the update key is necessary for Excel. Oops, I want school number. But most tables in a data server would have a primary key or unique constraint set, making the key here unnecessary. Monroe County is ready. Here's Duval County and we'll write data. Jacksonville to Key West. Throughout the last migration, the recording has been running, so we can now create a macro. And like Office, recordings are made in BASIC. Uh, I press Control A and copy from the command window. So what we want to do is take everything that we've done for Monroe County and play it now back for Citrus County. In the formula ribbon, I click New and enter a macro name and then paste from the command line into the new macro. I'll indent this. Now, I'm glad I was able to record this because I would not want to write it from scratch, but it is simpler than it first looks. The first part specifies the Monroe County worksheet, and the next part specifies the table name, which is fcat underscore scores. And then here we actually create the offline document for the county. And for the migration, we change the link from the county, which is the source, to the state, which is the target. And the last step is to write the offline document to the target database. If I ran this on modified, nothing would happen because the update key would stop Monroe County Schools from inserting twice. For Citrus County, I simply need to change the file name. Now, before I run the macro, I want to save it to a macros file. After saving the file, I can set up a global macro, which allows me to run the macro without first opening the macro OLB file. And finally, I run the macro for Citrus County. So here's the offline document, which shows schools near Crystal River. I'll exit SQL offline and take a look in Excel. So far in this video, we have migrated Duval, Monroe, and Citrus County Excel files to a new Florida Excel worksheet. Now to end this video, I want to show you how to export to SQL Server. 
Now I'll connect to an LT3 server and enter credentials and specify a database name. And then finally, persist security info or, or I will lose my password. Just as we did before in this video, I will copy the connection string of the target database. But this time, instead of creating an offline document from the source, I'll edit the macro. And then change the connection string for the target to be SQL Server instead of the Excel state worksheet. Now I won't save the macro this time, I'll just press F5 to run the function. And here is the Citrus County offline document again, but this time with the refresh, I can see the new table exported to SQL Server. Finally, I've modified the macro to read all Excel worksheets in a folder, not just three specific files. I won't show you the edits here, but you can download the macro from inners.com samples using the link provided in the video description. Now, if you would prefer to create SQL script, you can on comment this line. Running the macro creates SQL script for each source worksheet. Now, I hope you find simply by editing connection strings and table names, you can easily migrate from different sources and to different targets. For more on macros, please visit Product Help, and thank you for watching.